We don't know who she is. We don't know what she believes. She's going to get paralyzed in the Situation Room while the generals have their way with her. Right now, Jesse, Jesse, I don't <laughs> like that. Back. Figuratively, <laughs> Take again, <it> back. <laughs> have their way with her. Control her, not in a sexual way. <laughs> You just heard Fox News propagandist Jesse Waters make a comment about Kamala Harris that's so reprehensible, even his own conservative co-hosts called him out on air. But of course, he didn't mean to insinuate that a female president would be R-worded by male military generals. He was trying to say that they take advantage of her politically because, you know, weak femoid brain, much smaller than big man brain. That's basically his defense. He wasn't going for violent sexism. He was going for more classic sexism that promotes male superiority. But let me just say, Jesse Waters knows what he's doing. He knows exactly what he intended to say. I don't believe that this was just an oopsie. He wanted to make that kind of a joke about Kamala Harris. And it's not the first time that Jesse Waters made overtly misogynistic comments about Kamala Harris. When world leaders sit across the poker table from Kamala Harris, they smell fear. They know her tells. Are you going to gamble our country away on a frightened woman too insecure to tell us who she is? He's not even trying to hide his contempt for women. She is a scared woman and world leaders will eat her alive. But Jesse, do you not realize that there are other world leaders who also happen to be women? And they're pretty tough. They're doing just fine. Furthermore, couldn't the same thing be said about the candidate that he supports, Donald Trump? I mean, the man is a bumbling buffoon. So why wouldn't you expect world leaders to exploit his stupidity? I mean, that's what the Saudis did. That's what the Israelis did. Of course, you know, there's corruption as well that played a role, to be fair. But I mean, the man is a fucking moron. One of the first things that he did as president-elect in 2016 was nearly cause an international shitstorm by taking a call from the president of Taiwan and tweeting about it. And if you know anything about China and Taiwan, it is a very delicate situation, to put it mildly, which is why former presidents have avoided speaking directly to presidents in Taiwan for decades. But do you you think that Trump was aware of that context in 2016? Of course not. Do you not think that other world leaders saw his stupidity and tried to capitalize on it for their own gain? Well, apparently, since he has a dick and balls, he's just automatically more qualified than Kamala Harris by Jesse Waters logic. Now, it's OK to be critical of Kamala Harris's policy, to be clear, including her foreign policy. I certainly am. But the crux of Jesse Waters complaint when it comes to Kamala Harris's foreign policy is that she's a weak female who would be overwhelmed in the situation room. It's just embarrassing. It's despicable. And unlike Hillary Clinton, Kamala Harris isn't even making this about her gender. Some Republicans, however, can't not make it about her gender and ethnicity because identity politics is the one thing they got since they don't want to criticize her on the policy substance. So they instead resort to sexist innuendo and speculate about her race. That's what they've been doing this whole time. It's embarrassing, and it's not just embarrassing to them. It's embarrassing to anyone who takes these clowns seriously. But this is the kind of person who Jesse Waters is. It's not just that he's incapable of viewing a woman as a leader. He's also a fucking creep, to be clear. And if you think that that's hyperbole, listen to him tell the story about how he preyed on his wife while she was his co-worker. When I was trying to get Emma to date me, yeah. uh, first thing I did, I uh, let the air out of her tires. <laughs> She couldn't go anywhere. She needed a lift. I said, hey, you need a lift? She copped right does in the car. Does she know this story? No, she doesn't know this story. <laughs> does she now watch the show? She does. The Jesse, she watch Jesse Jr. does show? You're basically the Zodiac killer. <laughs> <laughs> it has a happy ending. Really? Oh, yes, we're married. Oh did you really do that? Is she that the not. first time you did it, or did you use that before? Uh, it works like a charm. Oh, okay. <laughs> Kathy Lee Gifford joins us. So funny. <laughs> what the fuck? You let the air out of the tires of your coworker, who's 14 years younger than you, so she has no choice but to let you give her a ride home. Hmm. Quite the story. Worked out, though, because she married you. Listen, this man is a real-life Dennis Reynolds, and you're not going to get that reference unless you watch It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. But for those who don't know, Dennis Reynolds is a narcissist and a creep who preys on women. That is essentially Jesse Waters, who accidentally 
implied on national television that Kamala Harris would be R-worded by military generals. So it was just a joke or an accident. It's an oopsie, merely. He is so revolting. Now, he knows he's engaging in gutter politics because he admitted later on in that same episode that his own mother would actually be disappointed in that joke that he made. I'm not joking. I'm sure my mother was probably go on MSNBC tonight and said, my son, Jesse Waters, made a joke about Kamala Harris being manhandled by generals in the Situation Room, and she, he has desecrated the memory of our grandfather, and it's just, it's disgusting. I could see my mom doing that, and I wish I had a political dynasty so I could take shots as well. Uh, we appreciate that. You can tell Judge Janine Pirro is uncomfortable when she abruptly tries to move on whenever he says something extremely fucked up, but what he said there is actually accurate. And I did not know this, but his mom is actually a lib. She's a Democrat. And on the very first episode of his show, after taking over for Tucker Carlson when he was fired, his mom called in to congratulate him and tell him how proud she was of him. But she also had some really interesting advice for her son. We have a very special guest on the line, a Democrat, my mom. Mom, Hello how there, have you? Jesse. Hello there, mom. <laughs> How have you um, enjoyed the show so far? I have enjoyed the show. I want to say congratulations, Honey Bun. We are so proud of you and your accomplishments, <laughs> you. and you've worked so hard. Now let's aim to have you keep your job. And <laughs> to that end, I do have some suggestions. Okay. Do not tumble into any conspiracy rabbit holes. <laughs> we do not want to lose you, and we want no lawsuits. Okay. In, okay. In yeah. keeping, I, I have a list here. In keeping okay. with the Hippocratic Oath, do no harm. We need you to be kind and respectful. Okay. You yourself mentioned that humble is a stretch, so I, I get that. <laughs> Use your voice responsibly to promote conversation that maintains a narrative thread. There, there really has been enough Biden bashing, and the laptop is <laughs> old. Perhaps you could suggest that your people take less interest, for example, in other people's bodies, and talk about that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We're trying to keep other people's interest away from children's bodies. That was the point uh, of that right. segment. Mom... I I, I want love you. you. Wait, I was, wait, 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 okay. wait, wait. I, I knew this want was you a bad to idea. seek solutions versus <laughs> fanning the flames. You okay. could encourage that Bedminster friend of yours to return to his earlier career on television. Everyone in his audience could wear a red hat, okay. and I'm sure the ratings would soar, although All never right. as high, my darling, as <laughs> yours. On Jesse Waters Primetime. Good luck. Thank you very much, Mom. I love you very much. And, I love uh, you. I'm thinking that a small dinner between five and eight all would right, be we the gotta way to go. We got to go, Mom. This is just like how <laughs> things are at home. I all love right. you. Bye. I don't think I've ever seen Jesse Waters that uncomfortable before because I think that he was expecting his mom to call in and say the typical motherly things like, hey, good job. I love you. I'm proud of you. And maybe, you know, kind of nag him a little bit for being a conservative. But she went so much further than I think he expected her to go. And it was nice to see the look on his face when he was very clearly uncomfortable. But I mean, by now, it's pretty apparent that he disregarded all of his mother's advice. And he's reached the point in his career where he's making our word jokes about female politicians i would be curious to hear what his mother says now like if she's still proud of him i want her to call in actually because i want to hear from her again because i'm sure that she would have some things to say about her son if that were my son i would be horrified by the things that he's doing for money despicable but keep in mind this kind of bullshit is what your grandparents and parents are watching on television every single day after tucker carlson for years pumped their heads with white supremacist propaganda they're now being fed jokes about women being too weak and afraid to be president because all of the military generals would want to sexually assault her I mean, it's not surprising at this point, but it doesn't make it any less disgusting. But if you want to make a difference, here's what you can do. When you go to your parents' and grandparents' homes, when they're not looking, set up parental controls on their televisions and put passwords in for Fox News and Newsmax so that way they won't be able to view it. That is one small way to push back against Fox News' brainwashing one household at a time. That's just a little way to stop these old people from getting 
brainwashed and indoctrinated, for lack of a better word, by these ghouls who are not just wrong politically and bigoted, but perverts and creeps as well, like Jesse Waters. So resist Fox News by blocking your grandparents and parents from watching it. I I'm serious about this. That's the only way to stop this influence if we do it one household at a time. Vagina. 